Hi everyone. Today's topic is Democratic Republic of Congo, the land of dense forest. We have already studied about the different climatic zones of the world. Which are the different climatic zones? The torrid zone, temperate zone, and frigid zone. These zones are also known as heat zones. Each climatic zone's climate is different. According to the climate, the lifestyle of the people also different. So, now we can look about the location and climate of the equatorial region or torrid zone. What is the peculiarity of torrid zone? This climatic zone is very hot and humid as it receives the sun's rays directly. Some areas in this zone receive very high rainfall. This climatic area is also known as equatorial region. Why? The areas that lies on both the sides of the equator is known as equatorial region. This equatorial region is also known as torrid zone. For to study more about the peculiarities of this region, we can look which are the countries included in the equatorial region. The equator passes through the continents of South America, Africa and Asia. Africa is the second largest continent in the world. The Democratic Republic of Congo is the third largest country in Africa. The Democratic Republic of Congo is an appropriate example to understand the climatic condition of equatorial region and its effect on the lifestyle of people because it lies on the both sides of the equator. The Democratic Republic of Congo or DRC is located in the central part of the African continent. One third of the DRC lies in the northern hemisphere while the other two thirds lie in the southern hemisphere. It was ruled by Belgium till it became independent in 1960. So in the early time it was called Belgium Congo. In 1971, its name was changed into Sire. In 1997, this name again changed. That is Democratic Republic of Congo or DRC. Now its capital is Kinshasa. This DRC shares its boundaries with the nine countries Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and Tanzania in the east, Republic of Congo in the west. Central African Republic and South Sudan in the north, Zambia and Angola in the south. These are the neighbors of the DRC or Democratic Republic of Congo. Rivers Each and every country have a main river. Here, the river Congo is the lifeline of the people of the DRC or Democratic Republic of Congo. This Congo River Basin covers the entire country. This Congo River is the second longest river of Africa. It is also known as Sire River. Congo River is the big and important river in the world. A major part of the DRC lies in the basin of the Congo River. The northeastern part of the DRC is mountainous. The source of the Congo River is also in the highlands and mountain of the East African Rift. So this river is also known as Highway of Central Africa. Finally, this river enters into the Atlantic Ocean. Now we can look landscape of the DRC. We can see a lot of mountains here. The Margarita is the highest peak in the Democratic Republic of Congo. There are also several lakes in the DRC. Lake Albert, Lake Edward, Lake Kivu, etc. are the main lakes in the DRC. Many of these lakes are situated in the eastern part of the country. We can see mountains, rivers, lakes in the DRC. How is the climate of the DRC? The DRC has hot and wet climate throughout the year. What is the climate? hot and wet. The region receives direct rays of the sun, so there is little variation in the summer and winter seasons. High temperature and humidity cause clouds to build up. It to bring rainfall to the region. This rain almost every evening in the DRC. So this rainfall is known as 4 o'clock rainfall. Means almost every day in the year DRC gets rain. 
so we can look how is the vegetation drc is rich in vegetation most of the drc is covered with a tropical evergreen rainforest these rainforests are the second largest and one of the thickest in the world these forests have very tall and dense trees whose branches form a thick canopy even sunlight cannot penetrate through these forest so they remain dark and dim even in the day time the hot and humid climate of the drc is ideal for the growth of these dense forest the common trees in this forest are mahogany ebony redwood rosewood rubber and bamboo all trees do not shed their leaves at the same time thus the forest look green throughout the year so it is called tropical evergreen forest the climate is not hot and wet in some parts of the drc here vegetation is also different we can see a lot of grasslands in this areas this type of open grasslands are called savanna we can see a lot of animals also in the forest the forest of the drc also rich in wildlife several species of animals such as monkeys chimpanzees gorillas pythons lions crocodiles rhinos hippopotamus etc are common in this forest birds like parrots pelicans flamingos cuckoos etc are found peacocks and okapis are found in large numbers the rivers of the drc are full of variety of fishes and dolphins the swampy areas are home to alligators and crocodiles deadly snakes insects and flies are also commonly found due to a great diversity in wildlife the drc is called the natural zoo of the world next is economy the people of the drc are engaged in forestry fishing cattle rearing and agriculture their main occupation is agriculture even though the methods of agriculture are traditional and primitive the main crops grown here are cassava maize banana and rice cassava is the staple food of the people in this region in india cassava is known as tapioca which are the main food crops the main food crops include cassava plantains maize groundnut and rice the main cash crops include coffee palm oil rubber cotton sugar tea and cocoa rubber is found in abundance here people have established rubber factories rubber tires are exported to other places the south and east of the river congo are filled with mineral resources the southeastern region of the country is very rich in mineral resources it has huge deposits of copper diamonds gold silver zinc manganese tin and coal the drc is one of the major copper producing countries in the world it is also famous for diamonds therefore many people are engaged in mining most of the minerals are exported to other countries other industries in the drc are of textiles tobacco and petroleum products they are located in the major cities of kinshasa drc is rich in water wealth also the river congo and its tributaries form a backbone of the country's economy and transportation the country has a good network of rivers it is the chief mode of transport it is very difficult to build roads and railways in the dense forest therefore only some parts of the country have roads and railways air transport is also very efficient in this region now we can look the life of the people in the drc the drc is thinly populated most of the people of the drc live in the rural areas majority of the population belongs to bendu tribe the bendu people are tall and have curly hair the hot climate does not allow them to wear many clothes the local language is bendu and the official language is french a large number of people in the drc follow christianity deep in the forest of the drc live in many groups of pygmies bambuti or buti a group of pygmies they are one of the most primitive tribes in the world these people are very short in 
height the pygmies are the original inhabitants of the country they live in dense forest their average height is 1.5 meters they use sign language and lead a nomadic life they rarely eat cooked food they are very good hunters they are fond of music drum music and dance are main entertainment how is their food can we look rice and powdered roots of cassava are the basic food of the people of congo honey and banana form a regular part of their diet how is their houses houses are made of mud and sticks with thatched roofs some well to do people live in elegant bungalows their natural costume is trousers and a collarless jacket men wear shirts and trousers while women wear skirts and blouses this is democratic republic of congo now we have covered all parts of trc then could you say what is the climate of equatorial region it is hot and humid which is the capital of drc kinshasa that is the capital of drc drc is huge deposits of mineral resources which are they copper diamonds gold silver zinc manganese tin iron coal etc the neighboring countries of the drc uganda rwanda tanzania zambia angola etc are the neighbors why drc is known as the natural zoo of the world because this forest includes a lot of animals such as gorillas lions hyenas hippopotamus rhinos elephants snakes crocodile etc like that a wide variety of birds also due to a great diversity of wildlife the drc is also called natural zoo of the world many parts of the drc have rainfall why because the climate of the drc is hot and wet the country experiences high temperature and high humidity because of that the clouds build up it brings rainfall into the region so rain gets in every evening this rainfall is known as 4 o'clock rainfall because of that many parts of the drc get rainfall